Congratulations for making it this far. This will be the very last tutorial on E6B Flight Computer. We'll make it quick and painless, and we're going to do it on Wind Drift Correction Angle. So let's say we're planning a flight from Frederick all the way up to Cumberland. 40 nautical miles should take us about half an hour. As we're flying along, our first checkpoint will be Hagerstown. So we get to a town, however we notice that there was one problem. There's an airport off to our left that shouldn't be there. So we look at our sectional and we recognize that we're at Shepherdstown and we need to correct our heading towards the north to get back to Cumberland. What we then do is take out our E6B flight computer, we'll take the wind index card which has a scale on the side of it. We're going to measure the distance that we've flown so far, which is 27 nautical miles. We'll measure the distance off course that we are, which is 9 nautical miles. And what we'll then do is measure the distance that we need to go to get back to our final destination, which if I pull and drag this point, will tell us that we are 17 nautical miles away from our destination airport. And using these four pieces of information, the distance to go, the distance we've traveled, the off course distance, and our original total distance, we'll be able to find what heading we should correct to to get us back to the airport. Now let's calculate the angle that we would need to adjust so that our flight path would become parallel to the original flight path we were supposed to be following. All we have to do is find the distance we've traveled so far on the inside rotating scale, which was 27 miles, and align that with the off course distance, which was 9 nautical miles. Then we just move around until we get to where the index pointer is and we see the number 20. So the correction is 20 degrees. And keep in mind that because we needed to head a little bit more towards the north, we're going to add 20 degrees to our heading that we find ourselves flying at right now. If we look back at our sectional, we'll see that the heading that we were supposed to go was 302 degrees. The heading that we actually went was 282 degrees. And the difference between these two headings is our wind drift angle, which we calculated with the E6B, which is exactly 20 degrees. So far, we've calculated that we would need a 20 degree correction angle so that we would be pointing parallel to our original path. But that's not sufficient to get us back towards the airport. We need to turn even more so that we're heading that new course back towards Cumberland. This can be accomplished by simply aligning on the inside scale the distance we still need to travel, 17 nautical miles, with our off course distance which was 9 nautical miles. We move around to the indicator and we see that it points to 32 degrees on the outside stationary scale. So we need to add 20 degrees to get parallel to the path, another 32 degrees to fly back towards Cumberland Airport, and our heading originally was 282 degrees. So if we add 282 degrees plus 20 degrees to go parallel, plus another 32 degrees to go back towards the airport, our final answer is 334 degrees. Finally, we see that the sectional chart shows a 337 degree heading back to the airport, which compares very well to the 334 degrees we calculated using the E6B flight computer. This ends the series of tutorials on the E6B flight computer. I hope you found them helpful, and feel free to look at the other tutorials on the other playlists. And as always, it's as simple as that.